In this video, we're going to cover key things you need to know about a medication called pantoprazole, which is a type of medicine called a proton pump inhibitor that works by reducing the amount of acid that your stomach makes. It's also used for heartburn, acid reflux, and gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GORD. GORD is when you keep getting the acid reflux. Pantoprazole can also be used to treat and prevent stomach ulcers. Now, in this video, we're going to cover these key topics, all of which are time-stamped, and as ever, this video is intended as a general educational resource, not a clinical advice video, and for any individual questions about pantoprazole, please do speak to your healthcare provider. So who can and cannot take pantoprazole? Well, in general, adults and children aged 12 years and over can take pantoprazole. However, it's not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, you should tell your doctor if you've ever had an allergic reaction to pantoprazole or any other medicine that's similar to it, have liver problems if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant or breastfeeding. You should also tell your doctor if you're going to have an endoscopy. This is a camera test to look at your stomach. If you're going to have an endoscopy, you should ask your doctor if you should stop taking the pantoprazole a few weeks before your procedure. And that's because pantoprazole can hide some of the problems that would usually be spotted during the endoscopy. So how and when should you take pantoprazole? Well, pantoprazole comes as tablets and you'll normally take it once a day, first thing in the morning. If you do take pantoprazole twice a day, you should take one dose in the morning and one dose in the evening. In terms of dosage and strength, each tablet contains 20 or 40 milligrams of medication. Here in the UK, you can buy the pantoprazole 20 milligram tablets over the counter from pharmacies. Now, these are suitable for short-term treatment of heartburn and acid reflux in adults. In terms of usual dosage for common conditions, well, for heartburn and acid reflux, the dose is 20 milligrams a day. For gastroesophageal reflux disease, the typical dose can range between 20 to 40 milligrams a day. For stomach ulcers, the typical dose again ranges between 20 and 40 milligrams a day. And for something called Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, it's 40 milligrams to 80 milligrams a day. Now this can be increased to 160 a day, depending on how well it works for you. Doses are typically lower for people with liver problems. And in terms of how to take it, it's best to take pantoprazole an hour before a meal, and you should try to swallow tablets whole with a drink of water. In terms of how long to take it for, well, if you buy it from a pharmacy, you can usually take it for up to two weeks. Now, after two weeks, if your symptoms have improved, you can either take it for another two weeks. However, if your symptoms haven't improved or they're getting worse, make sure you speak to a doctor before taking any more pantoprazole. Generally, it's recommended not to take the medicine for more than four weeks without speaking to your doctor first. If your symptoms haven't improved, you might need some tests to find out what's causing them. If you take pantoprazole on prescription, you may only need to take it for a few weeks or months depending on your condition. Now, sometimes your doctor may advise you take it for longer, but ideally you should only take pantoprazole for the shortest amount of time possible. And if you have been taking it for more than 12 months, then you should ideally have a medication review with your doctor to see if you need to keep taking it. Like any medicine, it's best to only take it if it's absolutely necessary. And please always consult with your own health provider before making any decisions around stopping the medicine. Now in certain cases some people don't take it every day and they take it only when they have symptoms. However this type of dosing isn't suitable for everyone and you should speak to your doctor about what's best for you. So what should you do if you forget to take the medicine? Well if you normally take pantoprazole once a day take the missed dose as soon as you remember unless your next dose is due in less than 12 hours in which case skip the missed dose and take the next one at the usual time. If you take it twice a day then take the missed dose as soon as you remember again unless your next dose is due in less than four hours in which case skip the missed dose and take the next one at the usual time. It's important never to take a double dose to make up for a forgotten one and if you often forget doses try set an alarm to help remind you or speak to your pharmacist for other ways to help remind you taking your medicines. So let's move on now and discuss potential side effects. Well, the good news is that most people who take pantoprazole don't have any side effects, but that isn't to say they don't exist. If you do get side effects, they're typically mild and they should go away when you stop taking the medicine. In terms of common side effects, the most common side effects are things like headaches and loose stool, and these happen in around one in a hundred people. Other common side effects can include belly pain, dizziness, bloating and farting, nausea, vomiting, weight gain, and constipation. Now, thankfully, serious side effects are rare and they happen in less than one in a thousand people, but you should see a doctor urgently if you develop joint pain along with a red skin rash, especially on parts of your body exposed to the sun, such as your arms, cheeks, and nose. 
and this may be less noticeable on brown or black skin. Now these can be signs of a rare condition called subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus. This can happen even if you've been taking pantoprazole for a long time, so please do stay vigilant for this. You can also get stomach pain that gets worse. The whites of your eyes could turn yellow or your skin can turn yellow. Again, this may be less obvious on brown or black skin. You may also develop dark pee and all of these can be signs of liver problems. You may also develop pain when you pee, peeing less than usual, lower back pain, swollen ankles, and a rash or high temperature. These can be a sign of a kidney problem, as well as severe or persistent diarrhea, which can be a sign of an inflamed bowel. Now for a full list of side effects, make sure you read the information leaflet on the inside of the medicine pack. In rare cases, it's also possible to have a serious allergic reaction, which is known as anaphylaxis to pantoprazole. If this happens, you need to seek immediate medical attention in hospital because this can be potentially life-threatening. Remember, I can't stress enough that this is intended as a general overview educational video, and what I've mentioned here are not all of the side effects of pantoprazole. And for the full list, make sure you read the information leaflet inside the medicine packet, and if you've experienced any other side effects that you think are important to share, please leave them in the comments comment section. Briefly, in terms of pregnancy, pantoprazole is not usually recommended if you're pregnant because there's little information about its use during pregnancy, and instead a doctor might prescribe a similar medicine called a meprazole for a short amount of time. If you're being troubled by reflux symptoms in pregnancy, you might want to treat your symptoms without taking medicine. You can try eating smaller meals more often, avoiding fatty or spicy foods, sitting up straight when you eat because this is going to take pressure off your stomach, and similarly, if you get symptoms at night, you could prop your head and shoulders up when you go to bed, and this is going to help stop stomach acid coming up whilst you sleep. Generally, if your doctor or health visitor says that your baby's healthy, it's thought to be okay to take pantoprazole for small amounts of time whilst you're breastfeeding, but again, speak to your own doctor first before starting this. Finally, in terms of taking pantoprazole and other medicines, it's important to be aware that some medicines and pantoprazole can affect each other and make it more likely to have the side effects that we discussed earlier. So you should always make sure you speak to your doctor about the possible interactions between these. So in terms of the medicines that can have a negative effect in terms of interactions, these include antifungal medicines like itraconazole or ketoconazole. It can also include methotrexate, which is a medicine used to treat cancer, psoriasis, and rheumatoid arthritis, HIV medicines, rifampicin, which is an antibiotic, or medicines that help to prevent blood clots, things like warfarin. 